Hi, I'm Teresa Polito. I'm the author of Hook, Loop, and Lock. And today, I'm going to show you how to lock or hook in the round so you can make circular projects, like this bangle bracelet, or these here, or this bunny basket. This is really cute. A pen cup, or this basket here. This is actually in the Hook, Loop, and Lock book. Or smaller baskets like this. Even really small circular projects like this, a really beautiful napkin ring holder. Very cute. But today we are going to learn how to make the mini blossom basket. I'm going to give you instructions step by step to make this really cute basket. It's really great for gift giving. You can fill it with potpourri. It also makes an excellent business card holder. To make the mini blossom basket, you're going to need the following materials. Five mesh canvas and I, I recommend the five mesh canvas for smaller projects. It's easier to work with. And locking medium, uh, a black cotton yarn works really well. It hides in the background on circular projects. Some tools, some heavy duty scissors for cutting your canvas. A small pair of fine craft scissors for cutting your fibers. A tapestry needle, number 13 works really well. Your locker hook some fabric strips and you're going to want a half inch wide fabric strip. Uh, the cotton batiks are really nice and that works well with the five mesh. Some ribbon, some adhesive, and I really like using this quick grip. It's permanent and dries fast and you're going to use that to attach a, a color coordinating floral accent. You can find all of these tools and materials on colorcrazy.com. You can also find the kit. It comes with everything you need minus the tapestry needle and the locker hook, but you may already have those. And you can also find a free pattern on colorcrazy.com. Now that you have all of your tools and materials ready, you can start locker hooking. You need to cut and prepare your canvas according to the pattern or the kit. Thread your locking medium through your locker hook and follow the instructions in the kit to get started or your pattern. Um, it'll show you uh, what size to cut and where to begin and where to finish. And we are ready to lock her up. We're going to start at the bottom of the basket, grab your cotton fabric strip and begin locker hooking. And you're going to want a locker hook all the way till you reach the end. But as you're reaching the end, remember that you're going to be overlapping your canvas by four squares or whatever the pattern calls out for. So stop right before you get to the end when you have four squares left to go. So pull up your fabric strips. And remember your loop height, that's really important. You need about a quarter of an inch in height. And every time you pull up a loop, give it a nice little tug so that you get that consistency in the loop length. That's probably one of the most important tips in locker hooking. So continue to locker hook and fill in until you get to the end. So now we've reached the end, and when you're working in the round, you're basically creating a circular project, and you're going to want to overlap your canvas to create that circle by about four squares or whatever the pattern indicates. And you're going to take your locker hook and work it through both pieces of canvas, grab your fabric strip, pull it up through both, and continue through those overlap four squares. giving it a nice tug every time you pull through. And it could get a little tight, but uh, just do it gently and it comes right through. So once you've locker hooked the body of the basket, it's going to look like this. And now you're ready to add your ribbon accent at the top. And you can start locker hooking. You have your locking, locking medium through the locker hook and um, you know, start at that bottom row or you can start at the top. It doesn't really matter. You just want to fill those three rows, top rows, with the ribbon. Grab your ribbon and pull it 
through the canvas. Now to create this accent, we're giving the ribbon some extra height to make a really nice accent. So about a half an inch in height, not a quarter inch anymore, but a half an inch in height. You want it to be nice and lofty and fluffy so you have a nice accent. So every time you pull it through, give it an extra tug. And you keep doing that with through each square in the canvas. Pull up your ribbon, give it a nice tug. So once you have finished locker hooking the ribbon on the top, you'll have a nice fluffy accent. And now you're ready to locker hook the bottom piece. It's a rectangular piece and you need to have folded it according to the pattern or the kit. And you're going to take your fabric strip and just start locker hooking at the edge and you're going to be working in a spiral fashion. So you just start locker hooking. This goes very quickly because it's a small piece. And as you work your way toward the corners, you're going to be working through some doubled up canvas, so it is kind of tight. You just have to work through it gently and move through the doubled up canvas. And you should be uh, good to go.